back to the surf today. They, we're not fish for striped bass anymore. We're fishing for flatfish, little halibut. And last year kind of was my first real attempt at like catching a halibut from shore. And somehow I just hit, you know, all the stars aligned. I hit the perfect day, got super lucky. And I caught a limit, three fish at that time and three keeper fish. And then I caught some shorts as well. I mean, it was lights out fishing wide open. And uh, that is not representative of how the fishery normally is from shore for halibut. Normally it's, uh, you gotta really put in a lot of days to get a few fish. But you know, you never know, if you get lucky, I hope that's what we're hoping for again today. Taking my first trip out to the surf, try to catch some halibut this season. And I got my little drop shot set up here. This is the same thing that I caught them on last year. And I've heard that they're catching them around here. But well, there's only one way to find out for sure. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. Still got a couple hours here this afternoon. I think it's about 12.30 right now. Probably fish till four or five, something like that. We'll see what happens. My best results with this drop shot set up from the surf. You just cast it out as far as possible. And then just hop it along the bottom there. Staying close to the bottom, but also trying to give that jerk bait a little bit of action, popping it up and down. That seems to get the halibut excited. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just work along the beach, cast a few times, maybe three or four casts, move down to the beach another you know, 15, 20 yards, make a few more casts. And just work it along the way until we find something. And my theory is that these halibut aren't moving very much. They definitely migrate and you know, they're hunting for bait fish as well, but they're spending a lot of the time sitting on the bottom. So in order to catch them, you're gonna have to go to them. They're not gonna come to you necessarily. So anyways, that's my plan for today. We'll see if we can make it happen. Was 100% of fish. Look at that, the tail is gone. Dang it. I missed him. I don't see any other teeth marks, so that fish must have just grabbed the tail and then that was it. Alright, see how that's rigged all wonky and sideways? I don't like that, so I'm gonna re rig that. There we go, that looks a lot better. Nice and straight. All right, I'm gonna cast back in that same spot. Halibut will definitely bite again, so if it's still hungry, we still got a shot here. Oh, next cast. Good fish. Yep, got him. The next cast. Cast it right back in there and he came back for it. I don't know how big it is. That's what I was saying. Literally next cast. Oh, he's running. Feels like a good one. Literally right on the next cast. Come on down. Oh, look at that. On the surface. All right, try to keep him nice and calm and just ride him up onto the sand here. Pretty sure it's a halibut. Yep, that's a halibut for sure. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice one from the surf. Come on up. Boom. That's what we're looking for right there. All right, it's pretty close to a keeper. Let's measure him and see if this one's going to the dinner table. All right, one thing, even though we're a little bit close to the water here, I'm gonna keep them on the wet sand. You see the dry sand right here? It's a lot less um, da damaging to the slime coat if we keep them on the wet sand here. So we're gonna do that just in case we have to let them go. And let's get our tape measure out. Oh, that's deeper. 22 and a half. 
22 and a half. Not a big one, but that's keeper. All right, that's the target species right there. Nice California halibut. And on the size is 22 inches. As with any other fish that you're going to keep, always best to clip those gills at a very minimum to uh, bleed the fish out. So keep that meat nice and fresh. Out here on the surf, we don't have a lot of resources. You can even bring a knife, so doing this the old fashioned. Call this the caveman style. We'll let that bleed out for a second, then toss it in the bag. It's always nice when the fish make me look smart, man. I threw this drop shot right here, right back in the same spot where I got the bite on the previous cast and he ripped the tail off. And I don't know for sure if it was the same fish or not, but there's a good chance that it was. So uh, yeah, halibut notorious for biting again and again. As long as you don't poke them with the hook, you got a shot to get them to go right back in there. So it's possible that there's more than one fish in there. So let's get back in. Two's the limit now. So one more and we'll be going home. quick surf session out here only one fish but honestly when you're talking about halibut from shore i'd consider one fish really a success especially if it's a keeper both bites today came on this drop shot rig honestly i think it was the same fish if i had to bet no way to know for sure but uh, both bites came on this drop shot rig uh, i did a how-to video a while back on patreon but uh, basically braid to floral leader long shank hook about two to three ounce weight just to get it out there a little bit farther Maybe one to three ounce weight definitely go a little bit lighter but uh, I was using a two ounce today and uh, fling it out there jig it along the bottom and if there's anything you learned from this video I well at least personally I'm gonna take away two things mainly uh, one halibut are sedentary mostly sedentary fish so if you want to find some halibut you got to go to them not necessarily wait for them to come to you if you want to optimize your chance of catching them I mean, if you sat in one spot for long enough, you'd probably find at least one. But if you want to optimize your chances of catching more than one, I'd say best to stay mobile and go find those fish. And two, if you find one and it bites and you don't catch it, throw it back in there as quickly as possible and try to do that same exact thing. Because like you saw in this video, that fish, it was there and it was hungry. I mean, I, I cast it back in there and it wasn't in there for more than like 10, 15 seconds before came back and got it again. But anyways, we go cook up this fish for dinner. So we're gonna head out of here. Quick little surf session this evening. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.